this week on Fail Kitchen, piñata cookies, because L-O-L. Okay, so before we even start, two things. Um, one, these aren't actually going to be piñata cookies, because who has a donkey cookie cutter just sitting around? I don't. I do have Christmas cookie cutters, so these will be whatever Christmas shape I can handle at the time. I haven't checked yet. I don't know which cookie cutter I will use, but I guarantee you it will not be a bro. That's not what we have here. I checked my dry cups, and the biggest dry cup I have is a half a cup, which means I lost the one cupper because they can't just come half a cup. I'm sure they have one cuppers around, and I must have had one at one point, but I no longer have it. So, um, sorry guys, this is like I haven't bought wet cups yet. I'm Oops. It's always awesome when you when you cook on top of a burner and then you spill the flour on your burner. Don't cook on top of burners. What's wrong with me anyway? Oh, my teaspoon doesn't fit in my jar. So, like, this is why. You want me to measure it, the people want people to measure, and then they make jars that don't fit teaspoons. Pop of sugar. Okay, add a cup of oil. Oh, I was supposed to put the eggs in first. I'm sure it'd be fine. It'd be fine. Eggs, oil, who cares what the order is? Oops. That was way more than two Alright, yeah, some cookie dough. Now it gets really complicated. In fact, my directions confuse me. But I need to pan the approximate width of my cookie cutters, and I don't know how big they are, so let's just say they're meatloaf size. That sounds good. Meatloaf pan looks about right. And we're supposed to... Why do they do this to saran wrap? Why? We're supposed to put saran wrap in it. Well, that was, that was great. Why is it that saran wrap sticks to itself, but doesn't stick to things you need it to stick to, like plates or pans? Or anything, really, other than itself. They don't tell me how to color these, by the way, so I'm going to make a hole. Squirt some black in the hole. And then cover it up. Well, that didn't work. Flying cookie dough everywhere. Boy, you know what I never want to do again? Color dough. How do people have time to do this? Like, all the time. Who are these people? Guys, this isn't even the hard part, believe it or not. Does anybody ever really need to do this? Uh, who in their right mind wakes up one day and says, you know what? I'm going to make donkey cookies. Why don't I go to Kmart and just buy a real pinata and put delicious, delicious candy in it? In any normal sugar cookie recipe, or even, you know, complicated sugar cookie recipe, now is when you would you refrigerate this, right? No, no, I'm not even going to try with the rolling pin. I'm just going to kind of place this, right? Maybe I should just spread it in the pan. I should definitely just spread it in the pan because that didn't work at all. I mean, like, so they're not the smoothest of layers. They'll be fine. Why do we have to be so creative? Can't we just make a cookie? We got to make multicolored zebra patterned cookies with candy inside of them? What the hell? Stupidest idea for a cookie. You are never going to see such adorable, not donkey cookies in your life. Put it in the fridge for four hours. See my loaf of cookie dough girls? Well, why is that in black? Well, because it's supposed to be a donkey cookie. Whoops. It's supposed to be a donkey cookie, but um, we don't have a donkey cookie cutter, so it's going to be, there's going to be black at the end of the bell instead. Yeah, okay, so what's happening right now is the black is tearing off from the rest of the cookie dough when it when the cookie dough falls. 
You guys, this is a this is a huge pain. Oh my god, this loaf is breaking apart. Oh my god. Oh my god. It'll be fine. Oh. My bell is too thick for this. We're just gonna make it fit. Right, girls? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. It will taste really good. Can it stay well? My cover. I can't pick this up. This is not good. Guys. Not good at all. Yeah. We're not even, this is not good at all. Oh, that's right. You copied me. I did. We're not going to make bells, I don't think. Look at this. I can't pick it up. I can't. See? Maybe with, didn't, didn't maybe with like a, he was um, hoping. So our new plan is we're going to make circles. What? We're gonna make oh, circle oh. circle ones. Don't worry, it's still gonna be delicious. So we're gonna do this now. This is what we're doing now. Good thing I spent all this time making this loaf. Come on. All right. This is what we got now. All right. They're not. I mean, it's not ideal. You'll see us attempt to do one M and M thing, and if that works out, then maybe I'll do a few more. But for the most part, these are just gonna be. Mm, disgustingly ugly sugar cookies. Okay, I'm gonna try this with one cookie just for you guys because if I wasn't doing this, I wouldn't try it at all. I'm annoyed now. So we're supposed to take a cookie, right, and then take another cookie, right, and cut a hole in this cookie. And we're supposed to use a square shaped cookie cutter. But I don't have one of those, obviously. Who has a square shaped cookie cutter? Okay, so here's our hole in our cookie. Then we're supposed to take this glue that I made out of confectioner sugar and water, and it's milk rather. Glue? Okay. Yeah, it's glue. Oops, and I broke the cookie. I broke the cookie, guys. But that's okay. Okay, so that doesn't seem to be um, sticking at all, actually. So maybe it'll dry and stick, who knows. Then we pour M&M's in the middle, okay? That looks really good. <laughs> and then we put another cookie on top, like that, and we glue it together. Here's your pinata cookie, Pinterest, okay? I dropped them all over the floor, so. We'll see you next week on Fail Kitchen.